So how to import your GeoTiff you created into Sonoiz into ArcGIS. So the first thing to make sure is just to have your background map set up. Uh, this one is actually just a normal emulator chart. Just make sure that the coordinate system is the same as the one you're using for collecting your data. The next thing to do is just try to find back your GeoTiff into your folder. So you just open your catalog tab. I've already everything sorted here. So here's my main folder for Sonowiz with my various projects. This one was collected in 2013 into Benchrigo. After that, you have all the various folder and you find back your GeoTiff folder. If you open it, you can find after all your various GeoTiff you made for that project. The one we're gonna be interested in is the high frequency for Benchrigo. So just double click on it make sure you have all the bands and after you just can click and drop into your project now we can see it actually doesn't appear directly onto the map so you can see actually on the order here that we have to put back the chart in the background now we can see actually that the detail is not great we have a black background and the color is not right for the data so just to correct this you have to go to properties into your GeoTIFF, into the symbology part, the RGB composite, and click on display background values and the fact that we exported it with transparent background, this will just remove that black screen at the back. The person clip has to be set up to none and depending on the file you're using, sometimes the gamma stretch can be removed or for this particular file if we set it to 1 for the tree channel it gives us a pretty good image so here we have our high frequency image from the size scan sonar and you can see that there's very good detail from the rock outcrop the next step is going to have to be tracing around this rock outcrop to know what area is covering so for this thing, you have to go back into your catalog, reduce all your Sonowiz folder, and we're going to have to create a new shapefile. So on this one, I have already one created for bench reading. In the case, you just create your folder for the area you're serving. So just click right, new shapefile and we're going to call it rock outcrop so what we want to do is we want to do a polygon and the coordinate system for this one will be W64 so now we have everything here and we can click OK and if we go on our tabular content we have the rock outcrop here appearing so we're going to set color for it to be easier to see so now what we're going to do is just we're going to start editing this new shapefile so just editor start editing and you only have the one so then if it doesn't appear here it's usually into this tab called create feature and with our rock out crop we're going to do a polygon so this level we can just zoom in much as possible and start tracing the border of your rock outcrop so this can take a few minutes you can always pan if you need to zoom in and get back into your polygon so you can be more precise in this but just for the demonstration I'm just doing it a little bit quicker Again, you can 
and you can have to reselect your window. Once we arrive at the end, we just finish sketch. And now we can zoom to feature. And we can see we have our link. So once all this is done, we just do save edits and stop editing. And here we have our rock out crop. We can change the color of it. We can change the texture of it. We can do fairly much whatever we want. And now the idea is just to know how much area this is covering. So we just have a little tab here and we want to or measure an area or measure a feature. If you have more than feature, you can use the sum button, which we're not going to use today. But at least for just measuring an area, just click on the little cross here. You can choose whatever system you want. Plata is fine. And the area, we usually measure everything in hectares. So we go back to our area and we just click on it. And I know that this one is only point 0.1 of an hectare. So this is how to trace and measure a new feature from a GeoTIFF image imported from Sonoris.